Hi, I'm Tim. And on behalf of the entire Apollo family, we're super excited you've chosen us for your next RV experience. I'm about to share with you all the tips and tricks on operating your high top. So your two best friends on your travels will be your Apollo Connect app and the how-to guide. With the Apollo Connect app, you can find local points of interest, get prepared for your road trip with our safe drive and how-to videos, and with our friends at Camp Stay, find and book campgrounds and holiday parks. Your second best friend will be the how-to guide. The how-to guide contains all the relevant instructions on the features of your chosen RV. First of all, we'll quickly run through the symbols used throughout the how-to guide. No driving during procedure. This symbol means this procedure cannot be completed whilst the vehicle is in motion. Requires electricity. This symbol indicates this procedure is only available when your vehicle is connected to mains power. Requires gas. This symbol indicates that this procedure functions with the LPG gas. Requires battery. This symbol indicates that the 12 volt battery system is required for the operation. So with your RV, you've got a bunch of keys. The remote key, gas key, and lastly, the fresh water key. So just have the keys on you at all times. Don't leave the key in the ignition and don't separate the keys. The high top can be connected to 240 volt mains power and you can connect it right here. First you'll need the lead and first thing you'll notice is that it's got a large earth pin. That means it's rated at 15 amps. You can't plug this into normal power points. All campgrounds around Australia will have 15 amp outlets. Insert the lead into the outlet, making sure you've got a really good connection with the large earth pin. Insert the lead into the campsite power and turn on. In the high top, you'll find the 240 volt circuit breaker underneath this seat. Make sure the circuit breaker is in the on position. Turn off all appliances prior to disconnecting from the power inlet. Disconnect and store the lead before moving your RV. Your RV has a fresh water tank that supplies water to the tap at the sink. We recommend you don't drink this water. So when your freshwater tank is empty, it's time to refill it and you'll do it right here. You'll need your hose and the water key. Make sure the hose is inserted as far as possible and don't let go of it while refilling. Connect the hose to the tap using the adapter provided. Once the tank is full, disconnect the hose, remembering to take the adapter with you. Make sure the main switch is on and just turn the water pump on to get the water flowing. The high top comes with one gas bottle which supplies LPG to the stove and it's kept in this compartment right here. The vehicle needs to be level for the LPG system to work. When you require LPG, turn on the valve all the way. Remember to close the valve when departing. Your lights will work off the 12 volt system. Just remember to turn them off when not in use as you will drain the battery unless you're connected to mains power at a campground. Simply switch on at the main control panel. You'll need to turn on the main switch and then the light switch and also at each individual light. The power points allow you to use your 240 volt appliances. These only work when you're connected to mains power at a campground. Your microwave here is only going to work when you're connected to 240 mains power at a campsite. Before travelling, we recommend that you get this plate out of the microwave and stow it away so it doesn't get damaged. Alright, time to cook. Your high top is equipped with a gas stove. We recommend you open the windows when cooking with the gas to allow ventilation. To use the gas burners, just push and rotate the dial and hold. Press the ignite switch until the gas lights. Continue to hold the dial to ensure the gas stays lit and then adjust to the desired temperature. All right, once you've finished cooking, allow plenty of time for the stove to cool. Give it a really nice clean before lowering the lid.
the fridge operates on the 12 volt system and the 240 volt mains power when connected at a campground. When driving, your fridge will work off the engine battery. Simply switch on at the main control panel and set to the desired temperature. We recommend you set the fridge to 4. Remove the tabletop by loosening the lever. If you run out of room, simply pull the handle to disengage the gear, rotate, re-engage the gear and continue to loosen. The arm and leg can be stored underneath the table by sliding into this groove and locking off. Place the tabletop in between the seats. Take the extra bedboard from the rooftop storage and also place between the seats. Arrange the side cushions in the gap to complete your bed. Alright guys, that's it from me. Don't forget your two best friends are going to be the How To Guide and the Apollo Connect app. We wish you all the best on your trip and we'll see you next time.